Hi, welcome to Numerics Video Blog. I'm your host, Jim Jockel. With me today, Dr. Sergey Isakov, Global Head of Quantitative Research at Numerics. Welcome, Sergey. Thank you, Jim. Uh, Sergey, joining us um, to talk about a presentation that was given around, uh, in November earlier this year at Risk USA uh, around the topic of counterparty credit risk. And one of the things that uh, you discussed at this presentation was the introduction of, of really the modern approach for counterparty credit risk. Can you uh, just share with uh, us uh, uh, what is that approach, as especially since so many people are thinking about it, and then what are other approaches in the market, and why is Numerics following this approach? Okay. Uh, basically, there are two main approaches to counterparty risk currently in the market. Uh, one can be called as a traditional approach, with, which was appeared uh, well long ago, and uh, we call it scenario approach. It is based on, uh, uh, it uh, consists of two steps. On the first step, you first generate scenarios, and then on the second step, you reveal your portfolio for counterparty risk to compute all exposures. But recently, uh, an approach appeared, which, we, which is a modern approach. It appeared at around 2012, uh, 2010, and uh, it's uh, based on, a, uh, it can be called as a modeling approach. It, uh, it generates scenarios, actually, uh, by using uh, arbitrage-free models. And main components of that approach are hybrid models. And because uh, th there is a requirement that uh, all the correlations between all asset classes have to be incorporated when uh, computing counterparty risk. And you have to have hybrid models to, to, do, that, to, to do that. And uh, the, second, uh, component, the second component of that approach is uh, the universal Monte Carlo method that could be uh, applied across all these hybrid models. And that method is the uh, American Monte Carlo method. So these two components. So um, one would assume in terms of the, the approaches, there's always trade-offs in terms of time, performance, and, um, and especially in differences of instruments where more are, like structured products are more exotic, wider risk factors that would require a hybrid model versus something that would be just more plain vanilla, straightforward um, in terms of analytic pricing. Um, within this approach, how are, how are you handling um, you know, both the uh, vanillas and, and the more exotic type of instruments. Yeah, there, there are different, different optimizations that can, can be applied to these types of uh, instruments. Even though the modern approach is universal across all the instruments, and that's a that's very important point. Of course, for vanilla part of your portfolio, uh, you, you, it's better to have some methods that perform much faster than, than the general hybrid models. And in that context, we uh, we implemented the what we call super swap op optimization, uh, which means aggregation of all cash flows across a um, large portfolio of super swap, large portfolio of vanilla swaps, and representing this portfolio as a single instrument. That uh, leads to uh, performance, uh, well, m much faster computation without uh, without sacrificing any accuracy. And on, on, the, on the structured product side, uh, you've introduced something called an algorithmic exposure. Um, can you walk us through that a little bit? Right. Uh, within the modern approach, still, uh, uh, what we introduced in our paper, which is a, a working paper available online, uh, we call it algorithmic exposure. Uh, that means the following. Uh, for structured product, you normally have to express the payoff of the instrument in some kind of uh, payoff language or script language. There are different names for that, but uh, it's, it's present in, in every trading system in some form. And uh, the first version of standard version of modern approach uh, used uh, a modification of the script to compute exposures. And that, uh, that is, uh, adds a lot to uh, operational risk. And what we came up uh, with is uh, what we call algorithmic exposure. In our approach, you don't have to change all your existing scripts for structured deals, exotic deals. You can reuse those scripts, and you compute exposures as a byproduct of price computation. It involves uh, uh, non-trivial analytics uh, to, to, to be able to do that in a, uh, at the time of price computation, but it, it can be proved uh, rigorously that the, the result will be exactly the same. But you don't have to change anything, and it's a very fast way to market to compute exposures. And in terms of, of the, the Monte Carlo simulation itself, um, there's been advancements in terms of uh, the American Monte Carlo in, in order to do the simulations and computations within that framework. Is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. 
Okay, and that uh, and that was something that that you've implemented a while ago, correct? Uh, yes, well, at Numerics, <laughs> a few years ago. Excellent. All right, well, Sergey, thank you so much for joining us today. Um, the paper that you referenced, uh, as well as the presentation from Risk USA, are available on numerics.com. I would encourage everyone to take a read and download. And of course, please feel free to look at our blogs and follow along at NX Analytics on Twitter. And uh, we'll uh, see you next time. Thank you.